It's the Weekly Reset, and Faction Rally has returned for the second time in Season 3, and we're going to go over what is available this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If you join my content, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell. That way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So, as I did say, it is a weekly reset, so we'll be going over the milestones first. First one we have is the Nightfall, and this week's Nightfall is on the, uh, was on Sabathun's Song. As for our wonderful Heroic Strikes, for modifiers we have Void Singe, Blackout, as well as Heavyweight. Then we have Leviathan, which you complete the raid or any of the two raid layers. Call to Arms, which you win glory by participating in Crucible matches. Clan XP, which you earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, Crucible, or World Activities. This week's Flashpoint is on Nessus. If you do the heroic versions of it, you can get it done faster. We already went over the heroic strike, and you obviously have to complete three of them. And we also have to choose a faction. So let's go ahead and go do that. So... Let's go ahead and find out what Dead Orbit has this Orbit wonderful faction route. Pretty much the same things. Yay! And since they won last uh, faction rally, we still got the wonderful Basilisk as our, our wonderful uh, victory. Anyways, for Dead Orbit, you guys can get the Warlock Ornament Gaze Beyond Worlds for the Eye of Another World, as well as the Catalyst. For the Graviton Lance, I already have my Catalyst, and it's already completed. Yay! For Future War Cult, we have the uh, <laughs> Predestination, which is the ornament for the Hunter's Knucklehead Radar, as well as the Sunshot Catalyst. And for New Monarchy, we have the Blazing Hearth for the Titan, and this is the wonderful ornament for the Crest of Alpha Loopy, and we also get the Sweet Business Catalyst as well. So, for this faction rally, I am actually going to pledge my allegiance to Future War Cult in order to get that Sunshot Catalyst. I look forward to the stories you will bring us. And that was a puppy. Take it. Fight for the future. So, let's go ahead and find out what Tess Everest has at the Eververse this week. Eververse is at your service. Starting off for the emotes, we have Zeus-like physique. Then we have Confused, from which D-Spikes always somehow, someway, always seems confused. Then for Speeder, we have Wave ca uh, wave Chaser. Reskin. Then for the ship, we have the Infinite uh, Visage. Another wonderful reskin. Then for another ship, apparently, we have the uh, Nebula Bloom. Another wonderful reskin. Ghost, we have uh, Palm of Gold Shell. And this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna say it again. <laughs> and the armor of the week is uh, helmets for every class. And this is the one for the Warlock. Comes with restorative Warlock armor, uh, mobility enhancement mod, as well as restorative mod. And then we have ornaments. We have the Dead of Winter ornament for the Winter's Guile. That's what it looks like. Then we also have the uh, Hypnopompic for the Sleeper Simulant. Again. And that's what that looks like. As for our Transmat effects, we have the Void effects as well as AI, Calm, Respute, and Reboot. Fortunately, we can't see them. Then we have for Shaders, Midnight Talons, Noble Constant Red. Searle's Modular Shine, as well as Tarnished Copper. And then we have your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, of the Crucible, and last but not least, your Fire Team Medallion. Now, I really don't like going over bundles, but hey, here's a Discovery Bundle. You get a Prototype Engram, uh, Ancient Republic Shaders, 10 of them, as well as Bright Dust. You get 500, yay. I'm not really 
that, yeah. Anyways, let's get to the Prismatic Matrix. This week for the tr Prismatic Matrix, we get the uh, Vespi Laser. Uh, this is a wonderful, awesome, exotic speeder. I actually use it. Pretty cool. Then for Hunters, we get the War Painted, uh, and that is an ornament for the Full Tracer. And I obviously can't view it because I'm not on my Hunter. It's okay. Then we have this wonderful uh, piece of armor for the Warlock, Titan. Then we have Synced Dance, which is an emote. That's pretty much all it does. On the other side, we get the Copperhead Supremacy Shell. This comes with Strike Experience Log, as well as Strike Glimmer Scavenger. And this is what it looks like. Then we got the uh, Ampulance. I'm not even going to say that. It's a shit. <laughs> I just can't pronounce that Roman, uh, Roman numeral. Then we got the Andes Peak Hunter, which is another speeder. Then we got the Fiery Phoenician, which, yet again, is another speeder. And then last but not least, we have the Opulent Clap, which is an emote. Don't forget to visit Cade 6 in oh, order no. to get these awesome treasure maps. And these week's treasure maps are on Nessus. So go ahead and pick up those five for 4,800 Glimmer each. And if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.